In this video, I'll be showing you how to make thermite. You're going to need red iron oxide and aluminum powder. You can get these off Amazon or alphachemicals.com. You also need a flower pot or some other clay vessel, and that's because thermite burns at around 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, so most other containers will likely get destroyed. The last thing you'll need is magnesium ribbon or a sparkler to ignite the mixture. And that's because thermite has such a high activation energy that if you just use a lighter, it will fail to ignite the reaction. To make the thermite, you mix the red iron oxide, also known as rust, and the aluminum powder in a three to one ratio. Three being the rust, one being the aluminum powder. For this video, I'll be doing a 200 gram test. That will be 150 grams of rust and 50 grams of aluminum powder. So I'll cut to a time lapse and then show you guys when I'm done. Here we have 150 grams of red iron oxide and 50 grams of aluminum. Time to mix them together. Here's some magnesium ribbon, and we stuck it right there in the thermite. Here's a nail, and we're going to put it in. Put more nails in. Maybe they'll melt, maybe not, we'll see. It looks like the zinc coating just burned right off. You can see the green residue from the nails. I'm not sure if the nails themselves melted. I could see. The nails are very bendable. Let's see over here. I can bend it very easily. Look at that. Interesting. Okay, it's been cooling down for a bit. Let's see what happens when I stick a leaf onto it. Look at that. It smokes and burns. Okay, here's the iron that I recovered. And you can see this piece here. It's only held on by that little strand, but even when I squeeze on it, it doesn't bend at all. Look at that. Here's a pretty good sized nugget I got. An even bigger one over here. 
And I'll bring out the magnets in a second, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And here are some magnets. Here's another magnet, and I'll go from under to show you guys.